Hi everyone, welcome. Tonight I'm going to do some coloring with the Castle Arts 120 count soft touch colored pencils. These are the ones that come in the case and it does zip all the way around. Mine are just open. Um, I'm going to also use this as my birthday chat, kind of go over a couple of things why I color because I'm pretty chatty anyways. And then I'm also going to do the hashtag a fab year 2021 that I'm co-hosting with Jamie over at Jamie's Coloring Love. So I am going to color in a Fabiana Antanasio book. So kind of getting a few things done here, trying to get caught up because I'm a little late starting everything out this year. <laughs> I should have knew better to make so many plans for the first month because things just never work out the way they're supposed to. Um, so first off, I will show you one thing I got done. So this is officially my book list and the highlighted ones are ones that have at least one finished page. So if they only have a whip, they are not included. So if it has a three beside it, it means I ended up with three copies of that book. Um, some books, as you can tell, I bought two of, um, but some I won as prizes and ended up with a couple extra. So my total count, not including Dollar Tree books or books that I probably will never ever touch, like ones I started out with I don't really like, or Zentangle, my total for 2020 was 328. So 328 books in my collection. So I am going to work on getting some more of those highlighted, starting with this one. So these are the Castle Arts. Now I did swatch them off camera just because it does take me a while and I didn't want you to have to watch that. I figured you would get a good idea of how they work once I start coloring with them. Now I did swatch them in the order they come in the pencil case and I probably should have redone it a little bit. When I glanced through it at first it looked pretty good to me. It kind of looked like they went in order yellow, orange, red, kind of. And I didn't think about it and it swaps kind of back to the purples and pinks at the end. Some more blues. So they're a little bit mixed up, but I did get them all swatched. I did play with a couple, just very couple um, combinations. I'm more interested myself in the combinations of colors of pencils that go together versus the colors themselves. So I will put this in my reference book with all my other colored pencils and I will work on a combination chart. I have one for Arteza and for Prisma. So, And then in this book I thought, kind of got whips everywhere in this book already, I thought this would be a fun page to try these pencils out on just because there's kind of a lot of elements going on here. You know, we've got flowers, we've got wood, we've got space. So we get to try out quite a few colors. Now this is a little bit thicker paper and it is smooth, not a lot of tooth. And that might make some difference in these pencils. When I was swatching them, I did notice that, like, this blue, trying to find the blue that would be closest to this. Now, let me just pull one actually. Mm, we're gonna guess this one. So the only thing I kind of was, about these pencils is they have great colors and they are soft and they do blend but I think because I'm a Prisma girl I'm just used to that little bit more saturation pigmented look but we'll see if the paper helps make a difference so to start with I am going to color the wood so looking at my chart I'm going to pull the, trying to decide which one is going to be in the darkest, the burnt umber, I believe, first. So, and I am going to skip around. I'm not going to color a whole lot of any part of this just because I feel like it will take quite a while. And but I do hope to have this one in my completed pages. It will also most likely be on my Instagram. Everything I am proud of goes on my Instagram. So I'm gonna color in these spots with the darker color. 
leave a little at the top if you want to make it lighter. All these lines I'm going to make sure I hit with this darker color. Hopefully it'll be as dark as I want. So I'm just going to work on the bottom half of this bridge. That way I have time to work on some other things. I might have to break this video up into two or I might post the first part and see if there's anyone that's interested in the second before I worry about it. Might be the way to go. So like I said, they are a little harder than Prisma. They are not hard, but they are harder. I am heavy handed. So as you can tell, I automatically go in hard anyway. So that is kind of a bonus for me is I won't burn through my pencils as fast. They do sharpen nice. I have sharpened them. So they do sharpen nice. I did get a couple that had minor, of course I should have pulled them because I didn't want to lose where they were at until after I showed you, that had broken tips already when I got them, but I haven't um, had a broken tip while I was swatching or anything, so that hasn't been a problem for me yet. And I might have sharpened the one with the broken tip. So... Now that I got this, I'm going to shade down this a little bit for shadow. I might go back in and add some black right there just because this brown doesn't feel like it's too incredibly dark for me. They do layer well on top of each other. We'll see how they go with colors. This is my first. I've seen lots of people with castle arts and I was on the mission for a new set of pencils because I was really trying not to use up all my Prismas on the easier, less detailed little books, so let's see how these do. I do have an extra set coming, so I got a case and then I got a set to refill the case as I run out of colors. Um, I usually do that with all my sets. I like to have two of all my sets just so that I know when I put that second pencil in the case, it is time to get more ordered, another one ordered, or just to be careful using it on projects if they're large areas, things like that. Okay, so I think I got the bottom of this. Fairly dark. I'm going to leave a little there. Color this hole in. Um, so this is a hidden picture book by Fabiana Antanasio. It is part of the Mythographic Collection. So if you haven't seen any of the other books, they do um, hide pictures in here. I myself am not a big fan of those, so I usually just color over them and try to blend in what I can. So now kind of what I'm doing is just kind of adding my own wood effects and darker spots here wood is not at all symmetrical doesn't look the same anywhere oh this would be a great one to try out all the greens okay so going with burnt umber I think we're gonna go with sepia as our next color And if this picture comes out funny, I'm sorry. I don't know these pencils y'all yet. So I am not going to color into everything yet. Just kind of putting a layer on. I would still like to keep some highlighted spots in the wood. I'm gonna finish this shadow going down though. And this is the leg right here. It's still on camera. Another issue of pulling down closer to me when I'm coloring. I was going to turn this into a speed coloring, but I figured with Castle Arts, I've seen a lot of people kind of on the hunt for new pencils lately with all the new stuff coming out, so... Now, I am a Prisma girl, so my opinion might be biased. Um, they are not as thick as the Arteza pencils, but they do have the color on the end and the names. They do not end a number. So, 
that is good there. Okay, and then I'm gonna pick, I think maybe, ooh, I don't know if I wanna go burnt sienna or yellow ochre. I think I wanna go yellow ochre. So that is what I would probably lean to in the Prisma set. Hopefully my head is not in the way. I'm sorry, I don't know where this my pencils are yet. I didn't want to pull them out ahead of time. Let me see, where am I at here? Yellow ochre, green gold. So I think that one might be one that ended up on this side. Maybe not. So they do have uh, quite a few sets of pencils. Their names are very um, kind of easy to figure out. They match the pencils. But like if you look, they have lemon yellow light, golden yellow, cadmium yellow light, and then um, they have cad golden yellow deep. So you have golden yellow, golden yellow deep. Cadmium yellow light, cadmium yellow, brilliant yellow, this is yellow ochre light, which might be perfect, let's see if that matches well. And it's not going to look that yellow when I'm done with it, I am going to blend it, but like I said I would like to keep some of that highlight in there that spot a little bit. It's going to line up there. So they don't leave too much dust, which is a bonus. Especially if you are a hard pusher like me, especially when trying to blend pencils. Add a little more over here. I kind of want to be careful with yellow around the flowers because I'm thinking a yellow orange hue to those. So I'm just going to cover that whole thing. Okay, then I will go back with my lighter. Kind of just go over everything. It tames it down a little but still gives it that highlight, highlight look. Which is what I'm going for. I'm shaking the camera, sorry. Try to slow it down a little here. You're not supposed to scribble on your pages anyway. Little circles now to get everything blended up. Wood sort of has a um, texture to it where it feels like it goes side to side like water. You don't see a whole lot of water with the, unless you're in a waterfall with the up and down kind of grainy texture. So side to side motions give that feel. But when you're blending, you kind of want to use little circles just to blend color so you don't end up with streaks of color. It took me 13 minutes just to get this far. Goodness. I hope you guys are sticking with me. Everyone's happy to be past the holidays. Got all that done. Enjoying any new gifts you may have received or are thinking about getting. I think I've decided on a new medium finally. I think I'm going to try inks of some kind in my Fantasia book I got recently. So that will be an interesting adventure. We'll be sure to try to do something with those. Okay, so then when I get the top part done, I will go over this with the Gamsol blending. I don't want to do it in separate segments because I don't want it to dry or come out different looking or anything like that. I want to make sure I do it all at one time. I'm going to make this side of the fence post a little darker, same like that. Inside darker, outside darker little tint on the top, outside of the pole, and outside. Okay. 
and then if I wanted to I go back in on the sides here and kind of darken that just so you can tell the hole from the bridge itself. So, so far these look really great together. They blend well. They're having fun. They do have the new pencil smell. Just adding that yellow. We don't want it to look like it's made of a different type of wood. And my electric eraser, I'm going to make sure to clean the tip. And I'm going to fix up anywhere. I may have touched my flowers. Okay. That is going to be those colors. Then I'm thinking I'm going to do the goldish for goldish orange for the flowers. So first, so that I don't get my flowers dirty with colors, I'm gonna hop to the top. I'm going to find colors I want to use in my sky. There's already one out. Is that the color I'm looking for? No. I'm trying to use my chart so I don't have to sit and look through all of them. Ultramarine violet. And then I think I'm going to go for a mulberry. And I'm going to go for light purple. That's mauve. That's purple lake. Purple beef. Cool. This one also has a lot of cobalts, which was cool to me. I didn't realize how many cobalts there were. Where is my lavender? This works much better when you plan ahead of time. Purple light. Okay. And I forgot the black. Sorry, guys. Black. Okay. So, like with everything, you want to go in light with your black. Uh, these little stars are up to you if you want to color. Uh, personally, I'm probably going to color over mine and then go back in with the gel pen of some kind to make them pop out. There are so many of them that would take me forever. Okay, so you want to make sure after you put your black in, and it's kind of hard to do without turning my book around. <clears throat> so I know I want the basics of my black here. But if I'm doing galaxy sky, I kind of want to have a random effect. So I might go around planets just to make sure they stay standing out with whatever color they might turn into. This is a diamond right here, and I'm going to go ahead and just color over it because I don't want that in my sky. This is kind of like a moon planet around it also I'm just kind of planning this can be changed if I want later on it's not in real dark but it gives me a basis to pick so my next color is going to be ultramarine violet and all I'm gonna kind of do is just go in over the black just like you would any other pencil just kind of Pick your shape. So then I know right here will be purple. And I'm going to have to put a dot of blue right here. A dot of purple. I'm going to bring it around. And then I'm going to add this touch of pink. 
make sure it's fitting inside the planet. And then I want to make sure they all blend. So you can add a little pink with your glue, it's not that big a deal, they're all going to go together pretty well. And then once you darken that and add your white, it will look more galaxy. So I'm going to do the same thing right here, I'm going to decide how far out I want my blue, do I want this whole section blue? Then I'm going to bring in the same thing, kind of go over with the purple. Now I know I'm going to want a little pink streak right here somewhere. So I think I'm going to add a little blue right here. I'm going to erase out this little purple I need. I'm going to go back in and give this all a pink kind of feel. Now usually when I do galaxies, I try to do like C shapes of color and swirls, but because this is such a tiny area with big planets breaking it up, it's a little harder to do. But I still want to try and get some even coverage of colors in there. I don't want any spots to be really blue or really purple. So that's how I'm going to do that. Once again, I'm going to go in with the blue. I'm going to break it up right there. Then I'm going to put a little purple and pink like that to bring the blue through. There's your purple. Everywhere the blue is, you want to touch it with the purple before you go in with your next color. They can blend and that's okay, but you want to make sure that you kind of have some purple for this pink to blend into. Let's see, that will kind of break up the monotonous shape of the random blobs. <laughs> I had to put my legs down, they were going to sleep. Okay, one more corner here. So I think I am liking how this is coming out, so I'm going to stick with the black. There's not a lot of black going in here, but as we get kind of going, I will add random, like, just little swirls. But I would like to get it colored a little more before I get too far into that. Um, you do want your sky to look black with the galaxy, not just all galaxy on the look you're going for. So blue. So I have a lot of pink kind of up here at the top so I'm going to mellow this down. Blue. I'm going to stick with blue around this planet. Stick with blue all the way right there. Mm. Whoa! Throwing pencils. Remember, touch everywhere. I touch the blue with the purple. I'm going to bring that out because I want to make sure those colors stay away from this pink a bit, then my pink. Okay, so I'm going to go in and darken a couple spots of this real quick and just kind of show you what it'll look like finished, and then I will move on. Trying to stay in the line usually with these because they're bordered pictures, which is great. I can touch them up with a ruler afterwards. Okay, so going in, same thing with these pencils. You want to leave that fuzz, 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 going in with the fuzz. And galaxies do take layers. You can't just go in one layer super hard. They don't work like that. I tried it repeatedly. It did not work for me at all. I had to slow down and take the time. Okay. Going in with that really pretty blue. Circular motions to blend with that black. Don't want no streaks. And I will go over a third time so it doesn't have to be perfect, just darkening, making sure. 
how I want everything, that I got the right colors. Let's do my blue a little bit over here. Blue. Colored in that planet a little bit, but that's okay. Okay, going back in with the purple now. Purple. Purple. I make sure I got at least a little purple on the outside of all that blue. And then, like I said, you can kind of add a black streak through it if you don't feel like there's enough black. Just kind of put your own and then add that pink. Just give it a blend. I'll do the same, add a little purple. Just makes it look a little smoother. Ground planet. And you can go around black with that if you want to. Your call. Uh, galaxies don't really matter if you leave the white speckles in them just because it looks like stars because you got to go back and add it all in anyway. So. so that is going to be about how my sky comes out all the way across. Probably jump to this side. camera I'm hoping it's not having trouble focusing all the way through this video or it's gonna be really annoying. Okay, same thing, just adding the blue. I wanted blue down here. And this is where your kind of blueprint comes in handy because you can just go around everywhere you see you put blue, darken it up one tone. Remember, you don't want to go in hard, hard, because you want to be able to blend your other colors into it still. And if you need to add black, then you can still do that. Okay, going in with purple. Erase that. Starts all the way over here. Looks good. All right. I will go back and blend that the rest of the way later, but for now I'm liking it. Oh. Kind of like a before and after image there. And then I think we will, let's try a flower. So I know I'm going to want gold, this one, and then a very light. And then I'm going and add other colors if I need. So my dark is going to be brilliant yellow. My middle is going to be cadmium yellow light. And my Sorry guys, I don't know why that shut off. I do not want to redo all this on film. So I'm just going to tape these two together. I hope that doesn't affect anybody and you can still watch it. 
Um, I am fairly close to done. I have colored a little bit of everything with these castle arts. I do need to go back in and add some fine details and blending, but for the most part, I think you get a pretty good idea of what I'm doing, where I'm going, and how it's going to look. Should be enough to tell you. Obviously, it's hard to tell from someone else using the pencils if the pencils are going to be for you, but they are still fun to watch other people use, regardless. Putting that darker ring just a little bit around there so that they kind of have that tucked behind the center look. Just going over some lines to add some darkness. Okay, so that is that, and then I'm going to pull some greens. Um, with my space colors, I think I want to do... What do I want to do? Let's do sap green, cadmium green. Let's see, not sure, let's try. Castle green. Lots of greens to choose from. You got castle green, castle green light, leaf green middle, juniper green, Prussian green, hooker's green, foam green, oxide of chrome green. Um, leaf green light, and then there's this very pretty terra verde. And I do believe there is another version of it back here. Sap green. So we got cadmium green pale, emerald green, mint green light, jade green. So lots of green options for you. I'm gonna borrow this paper, just kind of see what blends together real quick. Oxide chrome is gonna be really dark. Leaf green middle, really bright. Cadmium green, cadmium green pale, so obviously those two go together, which is nice, and sap green. Excuse me. Oh, goodness. Oh, one more. Excuse me. I heard a few threes and sneeze and threes, you're healthy, so I will take it. Sorry about that. Excuse me. Um, some of these colors, like the cadmium green pale, or the colors that say light, will have just a regular and a so-and-so deep too, so that is helpful. Um, I think I am going to do these two cadmiums for these though, just to see how it goes. I might need that darker color to start. So I am just going to use this dark color for shadows, not going to use it on the whole thing. So I'm going to make sure that we know this is just a little shadow area. And it doesn't have to be perfect in any way because it's going to blend out. Okay, just making sure. I want to make sure that this bottom kind of loop has a shadow on it. And once again, I'm not going to do all these leaves because they do take me a while. You want to make sure you kind of have that fuzzy to blend, regardless of color usage. Okay, so I'm going to color this spot dark. I'm going to color right under this leaf dark, but I'm not going to go all the way down to this leaf. So I'm going to leave that little bit of highlight in between. This one. Um, there is a flip on my book. On my book. I wish. This book, if anyone is interested. Um, it's been on my channel quite a bit. This is one of my hope to finish books. But I have yet to complete a page in it. So the odds of it being... A 2021 would be slim, but I am close to finishing a book finally. It is just a coloring book cafe book, but it is still going to be finished, so yay for that. Okay, let's try the cadmium green. Let me just blend. You can always go back and darken that up if you like your blend, which I do. going to add some right there. I think I'm going to do these leaves backwards because we're fantasy, so I'm going to make the edges lighter. So 
Sorry if you can hear the squeaking. We have a chair in our living room that apparently is ready for some WD-40 because every time somebody moves in it, it just makes that awful noise. Oh, I'm going to sneeze again. I swear I'm fine and I get on camera and I start coughing and sneezing and yawning. Goodness. I am very excited to be able to get this done and up, though. I'm excited to see how people react to this. I have not done a whole lot of long coloring videos yet, so this is going to be one of my first kind of test the water pieces, see how it goes, what people like. We will get some feedback. I know some said tutorials, so I'm hoping this will help a little. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with Cadmium Pale. And I'm just going to fill in wherever those colors don't touch. And see how that kind of brings it to life, having the three different... It's the rule of three. No matter what you color, you need a light, a medium, and a dark. You can use all dark purples, but you need a darker, darkest purple, medium dark purple, and the lightest dark purple. As long as you have three shades. And you can also, if you wanted to get real fancy with it, once you got all this on and kind of blended out, these do blend great. I do like that. You can kind of just add a little brighter green if you want. It does show up a little. It takes a layer or two, but that looks cool too. Okay, back to the pale. Back what I was talking about before I ran out of time. So the middle of the flowers, I have a plan for, but I'm going to glitter them. So I don't know that I will get it on this video because glitter is messy. But if anyone wants to see me and how I glitter the centers, I can show you. That's no problem. I would go ahead and do it, but I don't know where my glitter packet is right this second. I had it out ready to go in case I had some extra time. But... So just blending with that lighter color. Blend, blend, blend. I don't like how the top of that is looking, so I'm going to take the one shade darker and I'm just going to add a little bit of color right along the rim. Just so it doesn't look so... Just, blah. There we go. That makes me feel better. Like I said, if I want to go in with this brighter green, this leaf will have a little different color to it. There is nothing wrong with that. Leaves are not all the same color. So, that is... Not going to work like that. That is basically my plan with this page. I am going to do some planets. I do believe I'm going to make these some kind of clouds, but I haven't decided a background yet. But I hope to have this in my finished videos. I'd be really excited to be able to get this done and worked on some more. I have quite a few big projects, so hopefully um, I won't have one of the largest hauls this little hidden object right here, this magnifying glass, I'm just going to color it like it's a petal. I'm not even going to worry about it. Um, but I'm hoping to show you some really cool stuff that will start maybe a conversation on things you would like to see, what you found neat, what you enjoy, things like that. Like I said, I would really like to be able to do lives because I get to talk back and forth with people instead of sitting here trying to talk to myself. Um, but the only way I'm going to be able to do that right now is if I start my own Facebook page. And I haven't done that yet, and I haven't decided. I do like the idea, but I'm not sure. I do have, I do um, moderate in Jamie's group, Once Upon a Color. But I don't want to be blowing her feet up with my videos and things, so we'll see. Maybe if there's any interest. Alright, so I think I'm going to let you guys go. I showed you how to do a couple flowers, what I'm going to do with my sky. Um, see this, I'm just going to glitter just like one of those, so hopefully it won't stick out too bad. 
I just showed you how to do the wood that just needs blended. So I thank you for watching. If you stuck with me this far, thank you so much. I appreciate the support and the encouragement. All the sweet comments and new subscribers, I t thank you for taking the time. And I hope to see you next video. Please leave comments and section comments and sections <laughs> comments and suggestions down below. I do read everything and try to reply so that I know what to, to do. So thanks for watching.